touchdown, Central Arkansas. They had played really, really well, so I was a little concerned when we didn't jump out the gates the way that we needed to, but the guys really responded. We, we had a great second quarter. Uh, George helped us, you know, we finished the first half with George uh, getting the, the, the touchdown interception, then we finished the game being able to run the clock out. So we, we're still finishing, uh, and that's that's what we like to see. We felt like we had a chance to return one against them, uh, you know, that, uh, out of our regular deal. And then they were kicking it away from Jatavius, and Dwayne came up. It was kind of a low line drive kick, and Dwayne did a great job of catching it and, and getting back up inside. I tell you, DeAndre McGill had a great job that uh, freed us up, and uh, Jakari Dillard, there were, there were a lot of people blocking that, uh, that really opened that thing up in a great run. Said, hey, what about, you know, what about Keyshawn, you know? And we said, well, let's give him a chance. And, and he got a chance and, and did some good things when he was in there. So, you know, I was I was pleased with the way that he ran the football. We, we felt like we knew he could do that. It was just a matter of getting his opportunity. And, um, you know, and Wales didn't get that much of an opportunity today. He had the one fumble. He picked up the fourth down and then fumble. So uh, the way Coach Warner's got it right now, you get your chance. And, you, you know, you need to take advantage of it if you don't. Uh, you know, and then he's got another guy ready to roll, and uh, and those guys have been stepping up. I thought Carlos had a couple of good runs. Uh, Jarvis ran the ball good there at the end. Uh, Kelton had a, a big one up the middle, and Hayden, Hayden had, I don't know how long that one was. But 80 or 80, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there, there was some there was some definite positives in, in that today. And we don't want to be we don't want to be looking up. We want to be you know defending the high ground. And right now we're still standing on, on the high ground. And and that's if we can keep taking care of business just one week at a time. Uh, that's what we want to do. So I, I was you know this was a, an ultimate trap game. You know you you, you come off of one of the bigger wins in in a long time. Uh, against an in-state FBS opponent. You're playing an 0-4 team that just so happens to be one of the top teams in the country in total offense. Not only that, but you got to travel. You know, we left at 8 in the morning and got here at 6. So that was 10 hours, including getting off and, and eating lunch. So 10 hours. So there were about three or four different things that led to, could have led to what, what went on in the first quarter continuing on. But the guys overcame that. It's just the coaches, they believe in me. So every play, they told me they're going to blitz me the first play, and I got that knockdown. And then later on in the game, they was like, yeah, just eyes. Most, 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 most of my teammates look up to me just like Jalen Lofton. He told me that this past weekend. He was like, hey, look. We need you on the game. Ah, the whole time, just watch number two, bang them, and collision them for me. Pretty much this team right here, they they didn't try to do no tricky plays like Arkansas did. But then they just try to line up and mash us and try to get us just RPO in the lot. They just try to get me out of the pass. And either if I break on the pass, they try to run the ball. So pretty much, I just got line the assignment with my eyes. Actually, we messed up on a few plays and we out of position a little bit. But a few. But I guess, yeah, just a few of them. Uh, we're going to come back next week and we're going to, we really got to hit it hard. Like, we got a lineman assignment every play. So we got to come back and work on everything.